Well, it's taken forever, but the asters are finally opening up in my yard. I've been working at so many people's gardens that their asters have been blooming for a while. I've been really jealous, but that's okay. Just giving the bees something to do now. I'm telling you, so these are New England asters. Um, if you don't, uh, you know, pinch and deadhead and whatever, you can get a lot of seed heads. And um, so last fall, uh, I sprinkled these all over the place. Um, so I've got more. And I've been moving them all over the place. And even the little babies have started blooming. Um, so it's been pretty fun. Um, and then, so this guy, it's a calico aster. That's one that I hear a lot of gardeners don't like. Um, these have probably been blooming elsewhere. Um, a little longer than mine. But look, look. Ready to go. Yeah. There's a little bee. Yeah, it takes a, a these guys have been opening kind of plant by plant for a little while now and it it seems like with the asters it the flowers need to be open. Uh for quite a while before the bees really get attracted. So, you know, if yours are slow to attract bees, no worries. Um, I just wanted to show you one that is really, really blooming, blooming well. Um, Anyway, it's kind of almost like a poor man's baby's breath, or maybe baby's breath is poor, I don't know. But anyway, this is native here in Indiana, Calico Aster. Bees will thank you. Oh, there they are. It's funny, there's a really full one out by the mailbox. I can show you. So this one's been blooming for quite a while. It's about four feet tall. And it's just pretty fun. I know some gardeners yank these out. And there there is a time in in August and early September where <laughs> They do look kind of messy, but, um, you know, if you can handle waiting just for a bit, they're kind of, they're kind of nice. And that's that guy. And, uh, you know, that'll keep our pollinators around and well fed in one place for a long time. So, yeah, that is one thing about um, a lot of our native plants, you know, rather than um, blooming, you know, all in one big massive uh, event and then they're done, um, these guys tend to bloom for a really long time by, you know, opening up flower by flower by flower, so... These are really nice for the bees. I'm trying to think. Anyway, I just I just had to show you like just the garden. You know, it's just it's just weird. It's you know a combination of the light and uh, you know things just kind of changing a little bit. But you know what was kind of looking kind of messy a few weeks ago is all of a sudden just looking soft and soft and lots of color so anyway I just thought I'd share and uh, yeah 
Have a great day.